Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here with me and Winston. Guess what, you guys? We received our Rock Pals power station and solar panels. So we're gonna unbox it in this video and take a look. Thanks for joining us. Okay, y'all, I went ahead and opened the box. There is my cat, Maylee. How you doing, May? And here we go. Oh, I guess I didn't open, <laughs> open the box well enough. <gasps> here it is. Here we go. The portable power station. Oh, it looks like... Actually, I guess this is just the portable power station. Um, I know they were going to send me... The accompanying 100 watt solar panel as well. Um, it doesn't look like that's in the box, so it might be coming separately. But let's take this out and take a peek. Okay, I brought the portable power station from Rock Pals out here in my van. This is the 300 watt version that you can purchase on Amazon. Now, Rock Pals is comparable to Jackery. I currently have the Jackery 240 Explorer, but what is attractive about the Rock Pals 300 is it basically charges in half the time that the Jackery does. So let's take it out of the box and see what we're working with. Alrighty, so I just opened the box and it looks like um, the cords and stuff are right on top here. So that's easy. Ta-da! Here we are. Cool, let's take it out of the bag. Wow, so this is uh this is pretty dope. I really like this carry handle. Um, okay, so this is the Rock Pals 300. It's definitely a little heavier and a little bigger than the Jackery 240, which I will do a comparison of um, in another video when I'm actually testing it out but it looks like it has um, a lot more options than my 240 which is cool so i'll have to kind of play around with it mess around with it um, to see and then of course when i get my solar panel that goes with it i'll be able to really do an honest comparison between the Rock Pals 300 with the solar panel um, and the Jackery 240 with the 60 watt solar panel that I have for that. So I got my Rock Pals power station plugged in here to a wall outlet. It was already at 60% so it shouldn't take very long to charge. Um, like I said you can charge it on a wall outlet with solar or in your vehicle so whatever works best for you. But I'll get it charged up to 100% since I have um, the benefit of an Edison outlet right now while I wait on the solar panel. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I really appreciate you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I really appreciate Rock Pals for sponsoring this video and uh, the next Rock Pal videos to come as we test out our new setup with solar and our portable power station out in Quartzsite soon. So thank you again for being here and we'll see you next time.